This is an introduction to Lumpy Louise, a story about an average woman with a not-so-average disease. Meet Louise. Louise may not look sick all the time, but she is suffering from a rare and painful disorder known as Durkheim's disease. Durkheim's disease, medically known as adipose de la rosa, is a lymphatic disorder. It was first described in medical literature by Dr. Francis Xavier Durkham in 1892. He was a pretty neat guy that did some pretty cool stuff, but that's not what we came to talk about. Because Louise's lymphatic system does not work right, her body does not dispose of toxins and waste properly. This causes the adipose tissue to make lipomas or benign tumors, or what Durkham sufferers like to call lumps, under the skin. At this point, you may be saying, I have a lump under my skin and it doesn't hurt me none. Well, Almost everybody will develop a few lipomas in their lifetime, and they shouldn't hurt, but... Someone with Durkham's over time will develop many, many lumps, hundreds of them. For the most part, you won't see them. You'll just see a person who doesn't look all that sick, and you may think, if she just died in an exercise, she'd be fine. As a quick sidebar here, I'd like to know an excellent site for anybody suffering from or knows someone who's suffering with a chronic illness. But you don't look sick.com is where the spoon theory originates and it is explained in great detail there. Without her lymphatic system working properly, stressing it, as vigorous exercise would, actually causes more problems for Louise than good. So, all the diet and exercise in the world is not the answer. I bet you are wondering, what is the answer? At this time, there is no known cure, but pain management light exercise, some changes in diet, lymphatic drainage massage, and some natural stuff such as acupuncture and herbal medicines are just a few of the things people are using for some relief. Now you wonder, why all the pain? Well, researchers aren't entirely sure, but because the lumps are numerous, there is a belief that they sit against organs and nerves and cause all sorts of trouble, including pain. Besides lumps and chronic pain, Durkham's disease brings with it many other symptoms. This list is by no means complete. Now you are asking yourself, whoa, who could get Darkham's disease? The short answer, anybody, no matter place of origin, age, or gender. However, the majority of people diagnosed at this time are women over 30 of European descent. Genetics possibly plays a big role in it as well. Also, a person with Durkham's can suffer from many other ailments, possibly because it may be autoimmune in nature.
These are just some of the ones Louise and her fellow sufferers have mentioned. Now back to Louise. Besides having Dee Dee, a whole bunch of sarcasm, and a wee bit of anger, she is just an average, middle-aged woman, living with her loving, supportive husband, Sean Patrick, and their cat, Princess Iko Iko Garcia. But we'll just call her Iko, because that other name is a bit pretentious. Following this introduction will be random excerpts of the, at times, sedentary, but never boring life of... Lumpy Louise. I hope this was helpful and thank you very much for listening.